All right, welcome back. You're still on to Wake Up Nigeria. And of course, I have here with me relationship expert Tehila Ido, a go-getter with a contagious passion for exceptional customer service, professional grooming, and etiquette. She's also a certified leader and communications expert. And today we will be talking about what do you talk about in a relationship? What are the things that, you know, will keep the relationship going? What are the things to talk about? And of course, um, Tahila is here with me. Hello, Tahila. Hi, Mary. Thank Good you morning. Thank so you for having me today. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? I'm awesome. Doing super. How are you today? Oh, all right. Great stuff. Now let's get right into this conversation. What do you talk That's about fantastic. in a relationship? What are the things, what are the important things, the intricate details that you need to converse about in a relationship? Thank you so much. Now, um, I get tired of seeing a couple just go out on dates and all they do is eat or go watch a movie. There's more to that relationship than eating. You will eat and you will go and you will crack it out. Mm. You will go to the movies and then after a while, you're going to forget what you want. You know, but there are certain things that you need to talk about, especially if you're heading towards marriage. If you're not heading towards marriage, then it's okay. You can eat all you want, get soft, get fat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you're heading towards marriage, there are certain things you need to talk about. And it's beyond what's your favorite color, what's your favorite meal, uh, what's your pastime, what's your hobby. Mm -mm. You know, there are in, there's certain things that you need to discuss. Like we discussed last week, if you are in courtship, which means you are heading towards marriage, yes. you want to ask about, you want to ask the hard questions. I like to ask the hard questions. You know, is there any uh, health issues that I should know about in your family? Diabetes, uh, schizophrenia, because you'd be surprised. Okay. Some things may run in the blood. It might be in the DNA, and you do not know, because mm. you're busy smooching, and you know, just shagging and all of that, and not asking the important questions. Mm. Again, you want to ask, what are your visions for our family when we get married? Okay. Do we very, have goals for our family? Yeah. Go ahead. Do we please. have goals for our yeah. family? Okay. What kind of schools would you like our children to go to? Mm. Would you like them to go to a private school or public school, mm. or should we homeschool them? You want to ask critical questions like, all right, so the bills. Because I'm a loving wife, I don't want you to pay all the bills. So where do I come in? What yeah. can I help you with? What mm. can I share? You know, because I think it's a really, it's just evil, if you ask me, to ask the man to pick up all the bills. Mm. So he will pay for the school fees. Uh, your car has an issue. He fixes it. You have a flat tire. By the way, women, it's okay to know how to change your flat. It's okay. <laughs> you know, so he, he comes, he takes the car. He services it, he, low, he mows the lawn, he takes out the trash, he does all these things. Okay, what exactly do you do? Produce babies? Uh-uh. It's beyond that. You know, so we want to ask, how do we share these roles? How do we share the bills? Mm. Should I pick up the light bill? And then you take care of the school fees? Of course, I think it's ideal for the man to take care of the rent. Mm. But it's okay if you pitch in and say, you know what, let's do it 60-40 or 70-30 because you are in a mutually engaging relationship and you don't want to just put all the, you know, the burden on your husband. Okay. All right. You want to ask so, critical questions like, how do we, you want me to stop? Because I can just go ahead. Now let's, t let's also, let's talk about in-laws. In-laws are a very delicate um, matter in a relationship. Yeah to discuss even before you get married. How do you bring up such a discussion? Well, um, firstly, I think you should find out how the woman or the man okay. engages the parent okay. when you have a function. Mm. And then look, you look for the right moment because then you, you see some patterns. You find out if, you know, uh, your husband to be, you know, like your mom or like your dad and vice versa okay and then you know while you're going out on your many dates you want to throw the question up and say honey when we get married um 
what do you think about uh, people coming to stay with us? Mm -hmm. You're not going directly to the in-laws now. Yeah. People. People, okay? yes. So we, because we, we have in-laws and we have outlaws. <laughs> but that's for another day. Yeah. All right. So um, yeah. who can come and stay with us? Uh, siblings, friends from school, uh, colleagues at work. Can our parents come stay over? That's where uh, you slip it in. Can okay. Can so stay over? All right. Yeah. Thank you so much, Tehelia. Um, I'm sure that we've learned so much from um, the, you know, these nuggets that you've dropped. So here are the things that you need to discuss before you get into that marriage. In-laws, you need to discuss your finances and um, a list of other things that she mentioned. Very, very, very important. Thank you so much. And um, of course, it's time for our first musical performance. And um, Mary will be taking that. 